Mm. When they pray, they're not asking for something. They're saying thank you. On my path, finding gratitude helped me shift trauma into power, helped me shift my pain into a source of wisdom. Again, is that deep gratitude for every aspect of your life. I eventually went on to do my formal shamanic training with Alberto Vialdo in the Four Winds Society and then with the uh, Quero in the high Andes of Peru, a beautiful lineage of wisdom keepers that preserved their medicine teachings for so long. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until around 1953 that People in Peru even knew that they existed. They were really just kind of a myth at that point, the, the last descendants of the Inca. So I journeyed to Peru and worked with them, sitting in ceremony. And these ceremonies are, they're all about gratitude. Hmm. When they pray, they're not asking for something. They're saying thank you. Yeah. Even if someone's in a lot of pain, someone's dying, as a disease, there's always this gratitude. And on my path, finding gratitude helped me shift trauma into power, helped me shift my pain into a source of wisdom, because there's always something on the other side of that, mm -hmm. right? You can view life as if it's happening to you or it's happening for, for you, you, right? Yeah. And then important to, to note is about that space of gratitude because a lot of the shamanic practices are coming in and saying thanks because they already see the results of what the thing that maybe they might be praying for yeah. to happen, right? You know, so if it's like, say something like it to rain, right? They're, they're saying thank you for the wet ground. Thank you for, you know, and visualizing already the crops grown, already right. the different things happening. And so it's in it, saying thank you from that space, knowing that it's already done. And like there's a magic and a power in trusting that it's already being mm -hmm. handled. Yeah, and the future isn't defined. So yeah. we have all these potential timelines in front of us there is no permanent future. Um, and in order to align ourselves with that timeline that we really want, the, the one where it's raining and puts out all the forest fires, giving gratitude for what has yet to manifest, but giving gratitude in such a way that it has already manifested. There yeah. is no difference in the gratitude that you're feeling. You're feeling the gratitude of you uh, you know. Yeah, you're feeling yourself walking through the 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 mud, or you're seeing the crops grown. You're you're tasting the corn that has already been harvested. You're you're there. You're feeling. You're knowing. You're experiencing. Yeah. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one. You know the one. Just press it. Little like. All right. Enjoy the rest of this content. Yeah, and for me, when I was sick, I would sometimes have dreams or sit in visualizations, but I remember a dream I had where I was just running, and almost like I was floating, and I was just running down the street, and my body felt so light, and there was no pain, and something that I physically couldn't do at that time, but I felt that gratitude, and I sat with that gratitude every day to start to mm. trace that pathway so that it would pull me forward. I would lay in bed and have conversations with myself 10 years from, from now. I would try to you know, imagine him laying in bed and by having these communions with my future self, I felt comforted in the moment and I've had moments where lately I've looked back at him and given him love from the present because the shamanic idea of time mm -hmm. is not linear. That yeah. we have healing available to us at any moment. And even though we may not have physically had that healer present, um, we can go back there with some of these tools and bring healing to the past. Yeah. It's almost like because it's existing now anyways, or it's all, all it's one. It's all a big ball of <laughs> time. <laughs> It's like the ribbons of time, if anybody hasn't seen them, but they, they, they literally 
fold on to each other, right? And so the spiral of this ribbon of time folds on to itself. And, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of proof to, to that, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And it's, it's interesting. Um, the despacho ceremony really holds a lot of that, that medicine from this lineage. Um, and what that medicine is, again, is that deep gratitude for every aspect of your life. The, the despacho is a prayer bundle. Um, it's a mandala. Not too uh, dissimilar from a uh, sand painting that the Tibetans may make. And you may find that like many of these mountain mystic traditions have similar practices. So there's a connection there. If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time. Have a beautiful, blessed day.